how is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is fabulous. So, in today's fabulous tutorial, <laughs> we are going to be making birthday cards, but not just any kind of birthday cards. We are going to be making some light up birthday cards. We're going to be making these little bad boys Aww. right here, Bobo, right here. And it has the little push here. You guys have seen me do lights on my other projects. You guys saw a binder that I made and there was lights where the fairies were. So um, I didn't explain to you guys how I made it, but in this video, I am going to explain to you guys because a few of you little crafty monsters have been requesting me actually explain how to put the lights on the project. So I'm going to simplify it on a card and you just put that on any project that you want to do and it's going to be super super easy so these are the cards we are going to be making now like I said it says push here now if I push here right now nothing is happening to these cards but that's because I always attach these little um, remove tabs here which blocks the battery and I do this for a reason okay so in my head, I'm like, I don't want anything to happen to these cards to where something is smashing it and this is like pushed for like an hour or two and the battery dies. For it to arrive to the recipient, right, after I made all this work and it not work for the recipient. So I said to myself, I'm like, there has to be a way to prevent that from happening. And I was like, well, whenever you buy any kind of battery operated little item, and it already has a battery, what happens is a lot of the times they come with these little tabs, right? So what I said was, why don't we do that on the cards? So that when the recipient gets this, all they have to do is just pull out these little tabs and throw them away. And then when they push them, <laughs> their little lights turn on. <laughs> I know, isn't that freaking adorable? <laughs> I know, guys, I know. Then it's super easy, like super easy. So let's not waste any more time, guys, because I know you guys want to get down and dirty with the crafting. So let's get down and dirty, boo-boos, and I will see you in a bit. All righty then, my little crafty monsters. Let's get down and dirty and make these little bad boys. So I already have the card base and the card mat already cut down and I will have a link in the bottom for a tutorial on a little bit more information on that if you guys don't know about card mats and card pieces. But um, right here I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp my card base before I start to assembly, assembly, <laughs> <laughs> assembly. Okay, Jesse, kick back. <laughs> Assemble this card together. And then right here, I'm just going to go ahead and do a little heart. And then the inside, I'm going to stamp um, push here. And this is just so that the recipient, the birthday boy or birthday girl, will know exactly where to push. So then I'm just going to go ahead and run a bunch of stuff because we are going to be using a Sizzix um, cupcake little die and this this die I've had it you know for a while so um, I don't know if they still have it out but um, I will try to see if I can go ahead and find a link but I'm not really too sure because I've had it for a few years anywho this little die set by Sizzix they it cuts out little you know um, cupcakes and so we're gonna go ahead and run all of these through at one time just get it over with and because they're all little small pieces so um, we need to cut out two more little pieces as well for these little cupcakes and on these little cupcakes it's really cute because you could do any color that you guys want um, on this case I just did like a little pink frosting with little yellow frosting just to kind of you know do a little something something and so right here I'm gonna go ahead and cut out that little candle and then the base of the cupcake so there is a white base. Now on this point, um, I do have two pieces of white cardstock. The first one is a 65 pound and the second one is 110 pound. 
And the reason why I have those two is because I want it to be pretty sturdy. And I'm gonna line those two up and I ran it through my Sizzix with that little candle because I want that little candle to be kind of like a little window, but it's only gonna be the flame part, but still, you know. And then right here I'm gonna emboss just the first um, white cardstock, not the not the 110 pound. I only did the 65 pound. And right here, we are going to go ahead and start building our little card. But right here, I'm going to lay down that, you know, that first mat. And I'm going to go ahead and trace where this that mat lays down at so that I know exactly where to put the little lights. And right here, I'm going to put an acetate in between those two card stocks before I glue those little bad boys. And um, I will be using some double-sided tape to um, to stick that little, uh, what is it, the acetate in between the, the cards. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and use liquid glue for the rest of that part of that card. You guys will see. I don't know why Jesse's getting all tongue twisted like he can't even talk right now. <laughs> I don't know what language you're talking, boo boo, but you talking some other kind of language. And so right here, we're going to go ahead and sandwich that, like I said. And that's just to, you know, make it a little bit easier. And it's just, I don't know. I just like how it looked. And then right here, I'm going to go ahead and use those two white pieces of cardstock that were cut out when we did the candle. Because I want that candle to be a little bit elevated. I don't want it to sink in all the way down to the bottom. And then that's where I'm going to go ahead and attach my little lavender candle. And so now for the fun part is that we're gonna go ahead and cut down whatever little extras are on there. Cause you know, whenever we cut, sometimes they're not always 100% perfect. So now we're gonna go ahead and look for our little copper conductive tape and then our little dials. <laughs> dials, dials, dials. I don't know what the heck they're called, boo boo. But anyway. I want to go ahead and do some clear ones and so I'm going to go ahead and pull out some clear ones. Yes, Jesse has a big old stack because I actually um, have a friend who does electronics too so I got a bunch of white ones. And so anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get a battery because you will need a battery and you will need a little light bulb. I will put um, a link on the bottom for some of these little light bulbs so that you guys could go ahead and find them and right here i'm just doing a little off and on switch now i there is no measurement i'm just measuring the actual battery like you guys saw me do right there and then i'm going to go ahead and put that sideways and the reason why i'm going to do that is because i'm going to go ahead and stick a little tab in between the battery and the conductive wire so that it basically shuts it off and so you guys will see at the end. But anyway, just remember, we're putting this little switch on facing outward for a reason. And then we're gonna go ahead and just put little skinny little foam adhesives to make like a little square. And this is where we're going to be snugging the little battery in there so that it won't slide in or out of this little area. Now, this part right here, we're gonna go ahead and start laying down the, um, the little conductive tape and I like to go ahead and get my pencil first and I like to go ahead and draw out where I'm going to be laying the tape so at least that there is like kind of like a little plan on where this tape needs to be laying at and so we're gonna need for it to lay at the bottom so this is the part where it's going to be making contact with the bottom part of your battery and the bottom part of your battery is always a negative and so on these little LED um, on these little LED circuits you will notice that they have two two prongs one of them is shorter than the other and that shorter one is always going to be the negative and the longer one is the positive and so right here I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a little line kind of going towards that little light bulb area remember we had traced out the little candle flame when we laid down that um that first map down so that's how i know where these little lines are going to go now the second one is going to go around the other side and then it's going to go up 
and around that little off and on switch so that it makes contact with the top part of the battery, which is the positive side. Now, one thing to keep in mind that is very, very important, and this is the same reason why I'm doing this on slow speed on regular time, and I'm not um, speeding this up, is because it's important that you guys understand that you can't let these conductive tapes cross at any moment or at all. They can't cross because if they do, then um, you're going to blow out the little LED circuit or you're going to blow up your little battery. <laughs> um, so you got to make sure that you do not let these little tapes touch each other. So try to keep them away from each other, but kind of close to each other so that the two prongs on your little LED circuits will not, you know, have to be stressed, stretched out too, too much. But so right here, what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and just lay this out. And in order to make a turn with these, you have to set it back the opposite direction and then go towards the direction you're trying to go because you can't really curve this tape. And you got to be really careful with it because it's really thin and it will tear pretty easy. So you see me kind of like move it back to the opposite direction and then I move it towards the direction I want it to go. And that kind of like just helps it sort of turn a little bit. So then once I have the tape down, I'm going to go ahead and get my bone folder and I will be making sure that this is really, really stuck down to my paper. Now, this is going to be like your little electrician wire. So this is where your electricity from your battery to your little light bulb is going to go. And this is where the current is going to go through. And now we're going to go ahead and do the other side. Now, on this part, I went too low on that part in the very beginning where that on and off switch is at. So make sure you don't go as low because later on you're going to see that I'm going to have to add tape in order to cut that contact because it was making contact to the side of the battery and not just the very top. So you guys will notice right here. So um, it's always easier to kind of like play with that little conductive tape and move it backwards in order for it to kind of loosen from that backing of the tape that it comes in. But anyways, did you notice how I put that a little far down? Well, don't put it so far down. Put it kind of towards the middle of your on and off switch so that it's not making contact with the side of the battery. Because like I said later on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to put a piece of tape there just to cut that contact so that the light bulb won't stay on because at that case it would have stayed on once I would have put that panel on. So now right here you see me kind of going back and forth, back and forth. This is because I'm making that conductive tape curve into a certain area that I wanted to curve. And I'm always keeping in mind that I cannot let these two tapes touch at any time because then you're just going to have a, a chance of blowing out your circuit. I like to put my circuit LED light down, my little light bulb down. And then I also like to put another piece of conductive tape on top of those prongs just to secure that. And then if that wasn't enough, <laughs> once I've done that, then I'll put some regular clear heavy duty tape on top of that just so that it secures everything down. You guys will see how I do this. Now, this is optional. I have seen people just lay this on top of the conductive tape, and then they just put a regular piece of clear tape over this just to hold it down. But um, in this case, I like, to, I like to secure it. So this is those little prongs that I was telling you. Notice how one is higher than the other, one is shorter than the other. Now, the shorter one is always going to be your negative, and your longer one will always be your positive. So, you got to remember that the top of your battery is the positive and the bottom part of your battery is the negative. So you got to always make sure that you put those prongs on the right side of that conductive tape that you guys have. That side that is touching the negative part and then the side that's touching the positive part. So right here, we're going to go ahead and just set the prongs on top of that conductive tape just so that it's making complete contact. And this is the part where you kind of want to 
play around with your little prongs and kind of bend them and curve them to whatever little direction you need them to be. But you have to keep in mind that these are really thin little prongs and they can break pretty easy. So if you break them, I mean, depending on where you bought these little LED lights, um, some of them, some places are pretty expensive, like that store fries that I was telling you about. Not the hamburgers, boo boos, the, <laughs> the electronic store. So that store there, they sell their little LED lights, these ones for about, I think they give you 20 of them for about $20. So they are pretty pricey. And then if you think about it, the batteries themselves, if you go to a regular store, you're going to be paying anywhere from five to six dollars. And it kind of like adds up and then you're going to add, you're going to um, have to purchase the conductive tape, which at Fry's also was eleven ninety nine. So, I mean, it's kind of a little pricey project. So you have to kind of know where to purchase these little items and stuff like that. Like I said, I if you guys want, I can go ahead and make these available in my Etsy store so that you guys could purchase these materials. But for now, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and arrange this little light bulb to the very, very, um, to the very top of this. And like I said, I do use some conductive tape to go ahead and secure those prongs down. So this is that part where I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and cut some conductive tape and then I'm going to put that on top of the prongs, kind of like sandwiching the prong. In, in between the bottom conductive tape and then I'm sandwiching it with another piece on top of the prong also touching that conductive tape. This is just so that it makes 100% contact. I like to be 100% secure. Now this, like I said, this is optional, but I like it to be 100%. <laughs> there has been times when these little circuits don't make contact completely and you know, you make your project and then the light bulb doesn't turn on. So, you know, or it turns on for a little bit, but because it's not making proper contact, it kind of blows it out and you kind of don't want that to happen. So this is another reason why I try to secure those little prongs down and I kind of make the perfect contact. And then after I do this, then I, I'm going to go ahead and add some thick packing tape, but I'm just going to add a little, you know, strip that's going to go ahead and cover those two prongs and the, you know, all that little area that I just attached a light bulb to. That's also another, just another way to secure that down. And um, so right here, you're going to go ahead and see me just add that little strip of tape. And then all we need to do is just go ahead and test out the little battery and you guys will see how awesome this little project is because we will be lighting up this little bad boy right here. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that the tape is secure and holding everything down nice and firm so that there is no way that this little light bulb will fall out or there's no way that this little light bulb will not make contact on the areas it should be making contact at. So now that we got this part down, because this is basically, I mean, this whole process is pretty easy, but this part right here is probably going to be the most tedious part. But the end result, guys, I mean, come on, seriously, your card lights up. That's like, hello, that's awesome. So do you see how once that little light switch makes contact with that battery, it lights up but see the problem here is that it was making contact with the side of the battery right there so now what i'm trying to do is i, I was trying to lift some of that tape up to remove it but it wasn't really coming out because if you guys remember i really put that down with the bone folder so in order to cut contact right there i'm going to have to add some little pieces of tape so that the side of the battery does not touch that conductive tape so this is why i told you guys not to go all the way down to the bottom to kind of go a little bit halfway just as long as you see that the the tape is making contact with the battery so even still here we're going to have to add a little bit more piece of tape a little bit higher because we don't want something to be resting on this card and then that light to be turned on 
and then you know it's it's just going to be on permanently and we we don't want that to happen we want it only to turn on when the recipient is actually pressing the area where they should be pressing you will actually be putting a little bit more foam adhesive on the sides as well to elevate that little switch so that it's not really touching too much you guys will see So right here now that we have the whole mechanism of this whole little light thing going on, we're gonna go ahead and add some little extra foam adhesive. And this is just to keep that switch a little higher than the battery so that in order for the battery to turn on, like I said, they have to kind of push down a little bit on that card or that area. So now, this part right here, guys, this is the part where you guys want to be really careful. You want to go ahead and make sure that everything is properly set and properly put together because you don't want it to, like I said, blow out or not function properly once the recipient gets it because then that's going to kind of suck. You know, you put all this work in and <laughs> for what, <laughs> you know? So then right here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and now I'm just bending everything because it was kind of like warping a little bit. And I believe it was kind of doing that because of that card mat that I set down. So now all we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and just figure out how or where to put our little foam adhesives. And we're going to go ahead and just start putting our little foam adhesives because we want this to be elevated up. Now on this very top part right here where the candle is, the top part of the candle, I'm putting a roll of foam adhesives like pretty tight. And the reason why I'm doing that is because when I turn on the, the little light, it kind of like shines a light out of the card in between the card. And so I didn't like how that looked. So now that's why I'm putting the little foam adhesives to kind of block that little light. You guys will see. And then from there on, you can go ahead and just space out your um, your little foam adhesives. Right here, I'm putting a little foam right on top of that little area where it connects the light bulb to the tape. And I'm just doing that so that nothing can smash that little area. Not that the little light bulb would break because that little light bulb is made out of plastic. And trust me, I've been dealing with these little light bulbs for a while and I've even stepped on a few and they still worked. So um, right here I effed it up. I should not have put that square right there, but <laughs> I will figure that out right now once I try to lay it down. See, look at him trying to be all slick, hiding it like I, uh, you guys didn't see me put that there. <laughs> we caught you, Jesse. So now we're just going to go ahead and make sure that everything is aligned. And then when you touch that little area, your light turns on. And then once everything is set, we can go ahead and lay this little bad boy on top of our little card base. And finally just make this little card come together because it's going to be so cute. Um... I really hope some of you guys really try to put some lights onto your projects. I really think that you guys are going to enjoy it. I mean, it's so much fun. And the end result, once you see your little project lighting up, is just like going to light up your soul. Trust me. I don't know why I like to do this. Maybe it's because it makes me kind of feel like an electrician. <laughs> I don't know why, but I love putting little lights on my project. And now that you guys know how easy it is, well, now you guys don't have an excuse. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some more little foam adhesive. Now I'm just playing around with this little light switch. I'm making sure that everything is working out fine and that everything is making the contact when it's supposed to be making the contact and not making contact when it shouldn't be making contact and if sometimes you have to raise that little light switch a little bit more by adding some more foam adhesives the little foam scores then just do it little crafty monsters just do it so right here now that i added the little double foam 
I'm just gonna go ahead and take off the backing and I'm gonna go ahead and permanently stick these little bad boys on there. And I've never really stuck a switch onto the foam adhesive before, but on this case, I do actually do it. And I think I'm gonna start doing that from now on because it secures the battery for sure. And then it just holds that paper kind of elevated over the battery pretty secure. And so I kind of liked that little idea. So right here, you're gonna see that I'm gonna take off the backing from the little foam adhesive. And then I'm gonna permanently stick that top part of the switch onto that. And so then now it's just stuck on there. And I like this little idea. I've never really, like I said, I've never really added it. I never really stuck it together. What I've always done is I've always just left it like that just flapping open so so that it doesn't make contact so now it's time to put our little bad boy onto our card base now this is the part where it's going to be really tricky because you're going to have to be able to align everything up so this part right here guys make sure that you're hovered over your card and you're applying this really slowly so that you can go ahead and center it and it is everything is centered so um, remember we erased the little tracing of the light, I mean of the little flame on our candles. So we don't have that to guide us anymore. So now we're just gonna use the little light bulb and the switch, make sure everything is hiding behind this card mat. And voila. <laughs> this is the part that's always nerve wracking because you're always like, oh, I want to make sure that I align this properly and I don't want it to be offset to one side or, yeah, I mean, trust me, I'm always making greeting cards. So that is always going through my mind. And when I do tutorials, because I'm not really over the project, it's kind of hard to see if I'm even aligned properly. But for the most part, it's, it's just a guessing game. So now let's just put our little cupcake together. This part is really easy. It's just really gluing all the little parts together. And um, this is gonna go by really quick. So you're just basically gluing everything onto that card. I mean, onto that little cupcake base because it does have a little base. And then just go ahead and layer everything. And then once you're done putting this little bad boy together, then you could go ahead and stick him onto the front of your card and you're done how easy was that oh well yeah that and you have to add your little push here button because you know your recipients need to know <laughs> where to push they're gonna look at that little window and see the light bulb and be like what is going on here but anyways so this part is pretty easy like i said and this is part is my favorite is building the little um, cupcake together I don't know I just think this little cupcake is cute I've had this die for a few years like I said and I have made other birthday cards with this little cupcake being like you know the little center vocal point but I've never actually added any kind of light mechanism on these little bad boys so right here I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that everything is attached properly and then we are going to add our little pink frosting because that's the bigger piece that goes on that um, on that base. And then you just add the little yellow frosting on top of that. And then I like how that yellow frosting has those little square cutouts so that it basically kind of makes it look like little pink um, sprinkles are on your frosting. You'll see, you'll see. It's gonna be very cute, mijo. It's gonna be very cute, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and add this last piece. Seriously, this card is pretty easy and it's pretty, um, it's pretty quick to make, honestly. Even with that little light mechanism. I mean, I, I don't know. I still think it's pretty easy. So, um, once you add this little piece on here, then just go ahead and attach the little bad boy onto your card and then you're going to be done because then after this, then you just have to figure out that little area <laughs> that is making contact with your battery 
And then once you find that little area, then you just attach that little heart right on top of that. Um, and so like I said, it's a pretty fast little card. I really like this card a lot. I think I'm going to be making a few more of these cards. Maybe I'll even make a little cake with several little candles on there. And then we'll use different color light bulbs for each one of these little candles. How cute would that be, right? So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and look for the area to see where it makes the best contact. And it looks like it's right there. So we're going to go ahead and just add some glue onto this little bad boy and then we're going to go ahead and just attach this onto that little area how cute right so <laughs> just finding that little spot is very very crucial very crucial <laughs> <laughs> it really isn't i'm just making that up but anywho there you go how cute is this right and then we're gonna go ahead and just add those little tabs. So all I did was I just stick this in there. Now remember that one moment when we were making the switch and I told you guys to make sure the opening was outward? And that was for this reason. That was because when we put the tab in there, that fold of the light switch was gonna stop this tab from going all the way through. So that was another reason why I was telling you guys to put the switch that way. So just cut your little switch. I mean your little blocker or tab, whatever it is, and then just cut it. And because I don't have an actual stamp that says remove tab, I'm just going to go ahead and write it by hand. And there's nothing wrong with writing it by hand. <laughs> I think it still looks cute. So all this is going to say is just remove tab. And then we're going to go ahead and just insert this into that little area between the top part of our switch and the top part of the battery just so that it doesn't make contact if that makes any sense and then you just leave it in there and so you write out your little card and then you put in the envelope and once your little recipient receives this then they'll be able to pull out that tab and then they can start turning on and off their little cupcake how cute is this i don't know i just thought of this <laughs> I just thought it was brilliant. I said, yes, this way I could assure myself that the battery will not die on the way in transit because of another package being on top of this or another envelope or whatever. See, there you go. And that's how easy it was. How cute, man. Oh, my God. I just... So in love with these little cards. I think I want to make a lot of them. And then different colors too on the little cupcakes. Um, I'll probably use like a different DSP paper in the background. I kind of liked it in the beginning. This was from a birthday paper pack. So I was like, okay, well, it goes with the birthday. But after I started looking at it, I was like, I could have probably used something a little bit more colorful, a little bit more fun. I just didn't think that this card in the back was fun. Well, I mean, the card mat. But I mean, it still looked cute. So, you know, what are we going to do, right? So I just added that little Spectra Norm sprinkle onto both of the little top parts of the frosting on this little cupcake. And that's just to give it like a little shimmer. Not that this card needs anything else because, I mean, like, come on, it lights up how much more awesome do you need to get <laughs> i don't know so um but i did want to give it like a little something onto that little frosting i didn't want to leave it you know all plain jane so that's why we added some of those little glitter and that's it for that my little crafty monsters how fun was this card right that's how easy it was to make these little bad boys. See, no, don't tell me it was not easy, my little crafty monsters. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Do not say that. I know you all are just saying like, oh, well, you make it look easy. But no, boo-boo, I didn't only make it look easy, boo-boo. I made it look easy because it is easy. Now, if you guys have laid this double-sided tape before in your little crafting projects, and you definitely could lay down some... Um, <laughs> some conductive 
copper foil adhesive tape, okay? That is a tongue twister, boo boo, seriously. <laughs> but... <laughs> Anywho, so you could definitely, definitely uh, lay that down, boo boo. I mean, you know, and you know, maybe later on in another tutorial, I'll show you guys how we could use this in a household item to make your own conductive uh, tape and you could do a light project with that too. Anywho, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, explain to you guys really, really quick. So these are the lights, the little LED light bulbs like I mentioned earlier that I use and these are um, three millimeter diodes LED dials, so it's D I O D E dials, dials. That I, I don't even know if I'm saying it right, boo boo. But don't look at me like that. I ain't the one making up these creepy names. Psh, dial sounds like a robot, doesn't it? Well, duh, these are electronical, Jesse. <laughs> Woo! Have one of those little moments right there, boo boo. <laughs> Anywho, so um, I purchased these on eBay. I purchased um, some of my foil tape on eBay. I purchased my batteries on eBay. I purchased a lot of things on eBay. But you can also, also, obviously find the batteries at your local Walmart or any kind of like um, hardware store. I think, you know, Home Depot sells batteries. Yeah, they do sell batteries and stuff like that. Or um, you could order them on eBay like I do. And you'll get them a lot cheaper, trust me. But obviously you're going to get like um, this brand right here, which is from China or Japan. I don't know, boo boo. I don't know where it's from. But anyway, um, it's not from California, that's for sure. <laughs> so, anywho, anywho. Um, and you can find your, let's let's do this tongue twister again, copper foil adhesive tape double-sided conductive. Okay, that's what it says, boo-boo. So you can find this little bad boy on eBay. And if you find it on eBay, you can find it on different sizes. I would recommend the size that I use, which is a quarter of an inch. Okay, so get a quarter of an inch if possible, but if you can't and you have to buy it, um, I purchased this one at Fry's and um, <laughs> no boo-boos, it's not Fry's, you ain't getting a hamburger with that boo-boo, uh-uh, but I do like me some fries and a shake, you know. <laughs> focus, little crafty monsters, focus, it's not about food. So I do love me some fries because they do have every single thing that has to do with electronics they have anything from appliances to movies to like computers to tvs to cameras to like a lot a lot of etc etc <laughs> have you guys seen that movie i don't remember where it's from but i remember that part because i thought it was hilarious anyway so they sell this but the only bad part is that they only sell it in an inch and so you could go ahead and just cut it because there's Nothing wrong with cutting it. I mean, I've actually cut this one down to whatever sizes I need for, like, you know, for whatever I need it for. But anyway, um, and it's basically, that's all you need. You just need a battery, a link, uh, battery, the little conductive tape, and then one of these little diodes. And these little diodes have a little transmitter in here that is a light beam, and it, like, illuminates and it's on a plastic covering so it's not really glass so you don't have to worry about that there's a lot of other ones out there for actual paper crafts but those little lights are pretty expensive i mean it's like 35 dollars for a kit <laughs> <laughs> ain't paying no damn 35 dollars boo boo uh -uh. not when i got 200 of these for like three bucks yeah wow. yeah so um Definitely check out your eBay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the link down there. But also, if it'll make it easier for you guys, if you guys want, um, I could go ahead and make these available on my Etsy store. And then you guys could just purchase them there and just pay for the product and also shipping and handling and whatever makes it easier for you guys. So you guys let me know. Let me know. And um, that's it for now. So this was an easy project. Don't start telling me that it wasn't easy. Start putting some lights on your little projects. You guys are definitely going to do a big impact on that. And um, 
Sorry, Thor was over there scratching. Look at little Matthias got tired of crafty. A little lazy. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and hit that little icon of my face if you guys haven't already subscribed. Go ahead and subscribe because you guys want to be my BFFs. Once you guys subscribe, we become BFFs. Okay? I know you guys want to. I know you do. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much, you guys. You guys freaking... Um, you almost made me draw my little dials here hello <laughs> um, but anyway you guys rock and thank you for coming back on the Castle Monster don't forget to uh, share and tell a friend because all your friends also need to know how fabulous these tutorials are and that's it for now my little crafty monsters until next time bye